One of the key things about the First World War is it was basically a war of artillery. I mean, the, the infantry's experience of the First World War was really being shelled, your guns shelling the Germans. Artillery was a dominant factor in the First World War, and we didn't want to go to a sound effects library and get bangs and wishes from, you know, generic sort of sound effects. So the New Zealand Army do um, live firing training several times a year, and they invited us to come up and they were using 105-inch howitzers, which are, you know, a calibre very similar to, to the guns that we're seeing on film. And so we sent our sound team up, and they had microphones planted all around the ground where the shells actually hit. They also put microphones up on the top of the ridge, so as these shells come screeching over, that whistling sound that you hear in, in the movie, that is the sound of real shells flying a few feet just above so, you know, we, we, the artillery sounds to me were very important because that is a very dominant sound that these soldiers experienced. The other aspect of the soundtrack that we had to do was every time a soldier looks like they're talking, we had to hear their voices. And what we were able to do is to go to some professional lip readers, some forensic lip readers. They were able to tell us what the soldiers were actually saying on screen because all you'd see are their silent film of them talking. Come on, get in. They're taking our fault. You look good. Get Hello. In. And then what we would do is figure out the regiment that they were in, what part of the UK they were from, whether they were from Sussex or, or, or Somerset or, or Norfolk or wherever part, of, and we would get um, actors in the UK to do those lines for us in sync with the pictures. And, and you know that you've got the line right because the sound and the lips match, so you know that there's no mistake because suddenly everything clicks in. One shot that was a really difficult one to do, which was very difficult to lip read, was an officer giving a lecture to his troops the day before they go into battle. Then the officer's holding a bit of paper and he's reading from it, and we had no idea what he was saying, and you could see his mouth moving, but it was very difficult to decipher. We worked out the regiment. We thought that they were the Bedfords. So we went into the archive of the Bedford Regiment, looked at June the 30th, the day before the Somme, looked at all the paperwork that's in the archive, and we came across a piece of paper with what's essentially a pep talk on it. It's just about 12 lines long, and it's, you know, the sort of pep talk you would give to your soldiers the day before they go into battles. And we wondered if this was what the guy was actually saying. So what I did is I recorded on my iPhone, I just read it out two or three times at different speeds, and I gave that to Jabez, who was able to take my recording and just massage it around. And really the question was, is this what the guy's actually saying? And we were able to get my voice matching reasonably well to, to have enough confidence to say, yes, this is, this is absolutely what, what he's saying. If every man goes into the fight determined to get through whatever the local difficulties may be, I am confident that... The and so then we got a, um, a, a person with a much better voice than me, a much more of a British officer-type voice, to read this in different speeds, and um, we were able to, to line it up with the dialogue. If every man goes into the fight determined to get through whatever the local difficulties may be. I am confident that the brigade will distinguish... It's, it's interesting because that's quite a well-known shot. It's used in a lot of the documentaries, and I must have seen that shot for 30 or 40 years in a multitude of, of docos of this guy standing there silently talking, and now I, you know, now, now I know what, he, what, he, what he's actually saying. When you're interested in this sort of thing, it's quite exciting. <laughs>